Quick question. Do you know your blood type? Do you know there is a blood type that stands out as particularly dangerous, meaning it is linked to higher chances of developing certain conditions or diseases? Is this the blood type that you have? If it is you, do you know how to best protect yourself from these diseases? We are going to answer all of these questions for you in this video. Stick around till the end and we will reveal which blood type poses the most risk and another interesting fact about blood types. The first question we'll answer is what exactly are blood types? Blood types are determined by the presence or absence of proteins called antigens, which sit on the surface of red blood cells. These antigens act as identifiers. If your immune system encounters a cell with an unfamiliar antigen, it will treat it like an intruder and attack. There are two key ways blood types are classified, the ABO system and the RH factor. In the ABO system, a person can have type A, B, AB, or O blood, depending on which antigens are present. Meanwhile, the RH factor refers to whether a particular protein, called the RH factor, is present. If the protein is present, your blood type is positive, and if it's absent, your blood type is negative. This combination of the ABO system and RH factor creates the eight most common blood types, O positive and O negative, AB positive, AB negative, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative. Knowing your blood type is critical because it plays a vital role in ensuring the compatibility of blood transfusions. Blood transfusions are often needed in emergencies, like severe accidents, surgeries with high blood loss, childbirth complications, cancer treatments, or chronic conditions such as anemia. If a person receives blood that is not compatible with their own type, the immune system may see the transfused blood as a foreign invader and launch an aggressive attack against it. This is called a hemolytic transfusion reaction, and it can lead to life-threatening complications. Here's what happens. Your immune system is programmed to recognize which antigens, proteins, are present on your red blood cells. If you receive blood with antigens that your immune system doesn't recognize, such as receiving type A, blood when you have type B blood, your immune system will produce antibodies against the unfamiliar antigens. These antibodies bind to the transfused red blood cells and mark them for destruction. Once the immune response is triggered, the foreign red blood cells clump together and are broken down in a process called hemolysis. This sudden destruction of red blood cells releases hemoglobin into the bloodstream, which can overwhelm the kidneys and lead to acute kidney failure. Additionally, the immune response may cause severe inflammation throughout the body, leading to symptoms like fever, chills, chest, or back pain, low blood pressure, and rapid heart rate. In extreme cases, these reactions can lead to shock, organ failure, or even death. Because of the seriousness of these risks, blood transfusions must be carefully matched to ensure compatibility. This involves testing for both ABO blood group and RH factor. For instance, someone with A negative blood must receive either A negative or O negative blood. If they were given A positive blood, their body could react against the RH factor, even if the A antigen is a match. Universal donors, such as those with O negative blood, play a crucial role in emergencies. Since O negative blood lacks both AB antigens and the RH protein, it can be given to anyone without triggering an immune response. This makes O negative blood highly valuable especially in trauma situations where there isn't enough time to determine the patient's blood type. However, because O-negative individuals can only receive O-negative blood themselves, maintaining an adequate supply in blood banks is critical. On the other hand, AB-positive individuals can receive blood from any type, making them universal recipients. AB-negative, however, is the rarest of the common blood types which can create challenges 
for those who need transfusions. One of the rarest and most unique blood types is Archnol, also called golden blood. Only a handful of people in the world are known to have it. This blood type is missing all Arch antigens, making it extremely rare. While having golden blood sounds special, it can create serious challenges. If someone with Rh null blood needs a transfusion, they can only receive blood from another person with the same type, making emergency care complicated. If you would like to know your blood type, we've linked some at-home blood test kits below. It's very important to know your blood type. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Research shows that blood type can influence the likelihood of developing certain diseases. People with type O blood are less likely to experience heart disease or stroke, but have a higher risk of developing ulcers and skin cancer. Type A, blood is linked to an increased risk of stomach cancer and is associated with higher cortisol levels, which may increase stress. Type AB blood has been associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular issues, making it the most concerning type for heart disease. Meanwhile, some studies suggest type B blood may increase susceptibility to autoimmune disorders, although more research is needed to confirm these findings. The book Eat Right for Your Type, written by Dr. Peter J. Dadamo in 1996, became widely popular for its unique claim that your blood type plays a significant role in determining which foods you should eat to maintain optimal health. The book suggests that following a diet tailored to your blood type can improve digestion, boost energy levels, aid weight loss, and even reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Dadamo's theory builds on the idea that human blood types evolved alongside changes in dietary patterns throughout history, meaning that each blood type is better suited to particular foods. Dadamo argues that each blood type emerged during a distinct period of human history, with diets shifting as humans evolved from hunter-gatherers to agricultural societies. According to the book, eating foods that match your ancestral blood type helps align your body's natural chemistry with your diet, making digestion and metabolism more efficient. Each blood type has specific recommendations and food restrictions, with the idea that mismatched foods can lead to inflammation, weight gain, and disease. Blood type O is described as the oldest blood type, originating from hunter-gatherers. According to Dadamo, people with type O blood thrive on a high-protein diet similar to the paleo diet. They are advised to consume lean meats, fish, poultry, and vegetables, while avoiding grains, dairy, and legumes, which are said to slow their metabolism. The book also recommends avoiding foods like corn, wheat, and beans, claiming these can contribute to weight gain and digestive issues in type O individuals. Dadamo suggests that type A blood developed during the rise of agriculture when humans began farming. He argues that people with type A blood do better on plant-based diets, focusing on fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, and tofu. According to the book, they should avoid red meat as it is thought to create excess acidity in their digestive systems. Type A Individuals are said to benefit from a vegetarian or close to vegan diet, with emphasis on fresh organic foods. The book describes type B blood as originating from nomadic populations who raised livestock. As a result, people with type B blood are said to do well on a balanced diet that includes both plant and animal products, such as meat, dairy, and vegetables. However, Dadamo warns that certain foods, such as chicken, corn, wheat, and lentils, should be avoided because they may interfere with digestion and lead to health problems. The AB blood type is considered the most modern and rarest, a mix between type A and type B. Dadamo calls this group the enigma because it combines dietary elements of both type A and type B. Type AB individuals are advised to eat small amounts of meat, like lamb or turkey, while also incorporating plant-based foods. 
The book suggests avoiding red meat, kidney beans, and corn, but says dairy products are generally well tolerated. Many readers of Eat Right for Your Type have shared positive feedback, claiming that following the blood type diet led to noticeable improvements in their health. These reports include benefits such as increased energy levels, better digestion, weight loss, improved mental clarity, and relief from chronic conditions like bloating, acid reflux, and fatigue. Others have said that sticking to the diet helped them feel less sluggish and reduced symptoms of inflammation, such as joint pain or swelling. Some individuals also reported improvements in skin health, including clearer complexions, reduced acne, and healthier hair, which they attributed to aligning their food intake with their blood type. One reason these self-reported benefits are common could be that the blood type diet encourages healthier eating habits overall. Regardless of the specific food restrictions tied to each blood type, the diet eliminates processed foods, sugary snacks, and refined carbohydrates, common culprits behind many chronic health problems. By shifting toward whole foods like vegetables, fruits, lean proteins, and healthy fats, people naturally improve the nutrient content of their meals. Many readers also find the structured approach of the blood type diet helpful for portion control, which can lead to more balanced eating and gradual weight loss. In Japan, there's a widely held belief that a person's blood type, known as Ketsueki Gata, influences their personality, behavior, and compatibility with others. This idea is similar to how some cultures use astrology or zodiac signs to explain personality traits. The concept dates back to the 1920s when a Japanese psychologist, Takeji Furukawa, proposed a link between blood type and temperament. Although the scientific basis for these claims is weak, the idea has become deeply rooted in Japanese popular culture. Each of the four major blood types, A, B, AB, and O, is associated with specific personality traits. Type A. Individuals are often described as polite, responsible, detail-oriented, and organized. They are said to excel in group settings and are seen as perfectionists, but they may also struggle with stress and anxiety because of their high expectations. Type B people are viewed as creative, independent, and free-spirited, but they are sometimes criticized for being unpredictable or selfish. They tend to go against the grain, focusing on personal goals over group harmony. Type O personalities are thought to be confident, outgoing, and natural leaders. People with this blood type are often seen as optimistic, competitive, and adaptable, though they may also be perceived as stubborn or overly ambitious. Type AB individuals are regarded as complex or mysterious, displaying traits from both type A and type B. They are believed to be rational, empathetic, and adaptable yet can sometimes come across as aloof or unpredictable. This belief in blood type and personality extends beyond individual traits. It also influences ideas about compatibility and relationships. For example, type A is often considered compatible with type O, but A and B pairings may be viewed as challenging. The idea is so pervasive that many people in Japan inquire about a potential partner's blood type when dating to predict how well they might get along. The influence of blood type goes beyond personal relationships and is reflected in various aspects of society. It's common to see blood type profiles included in job applications, entertainment interviews, and celebrity bios. Some companies in Japan even use blood type as part of personality assessments when hiring employees, believing that certain blood types are better suited for specific roles. For instance, type A individuals might be favored for jobs requiring attention to detail, while type O might be considered ideal for leadership positions. Blood type personality theory also appears in pop culture, with references in manga, anime, and television shows. Certain video games, like Nintendo's Animal Crossing, assign blood types to characters, and dating apps in Japan sometimes include a field for blood type, reinforcing the idea 
that it plays a role in attraction and compatibility. If you don't know your blood type, it's easy to find out. We have linked a home test kit below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more health tips. Sharing this information with friends and family is also a great way to help others stay informed.